no color in this dark girl. Her name is Wednesday and she likes all things dark and scary, but her pursuit of the truth is extraordinary perseverance. Huge contrast cute let her circle of fans numerous. It's the Adams Family live action spin-off Wednesday. Let's move on from the last video. Wednesday's attempts to reach his ancestor Judy through psychic means often end in failure. Then a secret message led her to Colestone's crypt. The timid Enid stayed outside to keep watch. A reconnaissance into the cave on Wednesday found a flickering figure. It Thank you, friends. Surprise! It turned out that it was all his classmates to give him a birthday surprise. The Maverick Wednesday was never one to let his feelings get in the way. She was more interested in the writing on the crypt wall. It's the same one that appeared on the school lawn when I will then when I write. They touched the writing on the stone, and sure enough. Back into the vision, she learned how to control her powers from her ancestor Judy. Judy asked her to find the black door in reality. She asked everywhere who had seen the black door, and Xavier happens to have drawn exactly the same pattern. He explained that they were patterns in his dreams. The gate is the Garrett family's old house that belonged to the man who was shot by his own mother. It is said that all their relatives are dead, but the ancestor brought herself here for a reason. Wednesday was about to open the door only to find the mayor walking out, so she sneaked into the mayor's car and followed him. Unexpectedly, the mayor was knocked down by a car after getting off the bus. The mayor was found a key clue to come over and tell the sheriff but at this time encountered an accident and the girl turned up at the scene. This made the principal angry again. She had to disqualify herself from going out on Wednesday but that doesn't limit her at all. Tyler picked up the girls in his car that night. They were at Garrett's old house again. Wednesday found the car that hit the mayor in his garage. It proved they weren't in the wrong place. They continued to explore the house. Again, she found a secret door with a sacrificial altar emerging from it. The same slogan was written on the walls, and the extinguished candle above was still hot. Wednesday continues the search with Enid. Sure enough. They found a clean room. Then came the sound of fighting downstairs. Two people immediately downstairs to check only to find that the monster blocked the stairs. So they climbed into the elevator and hid. The monster tore his foot through the rope. They fell straight into the basement. Wednesday, the missing body parts were found here. When they found Tyler, he was attacked by a monster. Wednesday then told the sheriff what he had found. And when they come back again, all the evidence is gone. For running out of school and putting a classmate in danger, the principal had enough and decided to expel Wednesday. She took Rowan's mother's painting to the headmaster. Tell the principal someone's trying to destroy the school and she herself is the guardian of the prophecy expect the principal to weigh the pros and cons give her another chance to prove the truth returning to his room wednesday found his photo in the gift box apparently his movements are being monitored then her opponent challenged her and that excited wednesday her fighting spirit burst into life she has to find the real killer herself